so Aldo Pam and welcome back to my channel. On today's tutorial, I will show you how I made this beautiful Filipiniana sleeves. As you can see, they are quite a statement and yeah, I absolutely love the sleeves. And by the way, these are detachable. So um, if I don't want to wear the Filipiniana sleeves, I can always take it off and just wear a sleeveless dress. So anyway, before we get started, I just want to greet you a happy new year thank you so much for coming back again to my channel on this year i plan on making so many more easy sewing projects for you guys to follow if you are new here i hope you will like what you will see and will join my so aldo family i would love to have you here now with that being said let's begin first thing I did was make the pattern. I just followed Ryan Ian Bulong's tutorial on how to draft your very own Filipiniana sleeve pattern. I'm going to have the link in the description box below if you want to make your own. For comparison, this is a regular sleeve pattern against the Filipiniana sleeves. So you will see how big the sleeves are going to be. I already cut out the fabrics. I have a lining and the actual printed fabric. And I'm also going to cut out the interfacing. I use a basic interfacing that doesn't have any adhesive on, but I got the thicker one or the heavy duty one. I added about one half inch extra facing just because I just wanna be able to make sure that I will have enough for my fabrics. Place the first layer which is the interfacing and then the lining and the actual fabric. Wrong side of the shell fabric is facing you. Now I am going to join these three layers. I will be sewing from here all the way down. I am doing about a quarter of an inch hemlines right here. Now I am going to trim off the excess interfacing. After that, I am going to do an understitch. So make sure that the raw edge is resting on the lining and the interfacing. I'm going to sew a straight stitch as close to the seam as possible. I'm going to do a stay stitch along the curve of the interfacing only. After that, I am going to lightly press it. So this is the outside of the sleeve and this is what the inside look like. And if you notice, if there are extra fabrics that's sticking out just like here on the curve, don't trim it off. We will take care of it later on, so don't worry about it. Now I fold the fabric in half to figure out the center fold of the sleeve. And then I will mark it using a pin. And then I am going to start pleating. I started from the very top, as you can see that is the center fold and I'm going to grab a fabric about 3 quarter to 1 inch wide and I'm going to pleat it like this. So I work on the other side so each side will have 5 pleats, so 10 pleats total. I adjusted the pleats a few times until I am satisfied. The idea is you want the pleats to lay flat. You don't want it puckering like this because it will look terrible. Make sure that the pleats are evenly distributed. Just look at the pleats that I did here. They are equal or they are symmetrical. Now I am going to stitch down the pleats. Be careful when you do this just because there are so many layers of materials and if you are not careful, the needle will break. Uh, promise I already broke one needle on this tutorial. So learn from my experience. Now it's time to finish the raw edge by using a bias tape. So I place it against the right side of the fabric. I left about one inch tail so I can easily grab it. 
So I'm just going to pin it along the raw edge just like this and I will be doing about 5 8 of an inch. Bias tape is about 2 and a half inch wide and the length will vary. It depends on how big the armhole is going to be. It can always trim it off later on and plus it's much nicer to have extra bias tape than not enough. To finish the edge, I am going to fold the bias tape first and then fold it one more time and then clip it to secure. Here is a closer look. As you can see, I fold the raw edge first and then fold it one more time just like that and pin it to secure. Now it's time to do a finishing stitch right here. Be sure that you are going to be catching the fabric at the back. So I tested it by poking a pin and if it catches the bias tape at the back, you are good to go. Trim off the excess bias tape and then join the inseam. Give the sleeves a good press and they are done. So that's it you guys and I hope you like this tutorial. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Hit the notifications so you will get notified whenever I post a new one. Until next time, bye!